Hello hello, welcome to another 5M tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to combine multiple vehicles into one resource. This is normally useful for organization of your server, it also reduces the amount of resources that the client needs to download when joining your server. With that said, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up two file explorers. One of them is going to be where your vehicles are stored in your server. The other one is going to be a new folder. Um, and the name of that folder is going to be whatever you want the resource to be called, the vehicle pack to be called. So the first thing here we want to do is make two new folders in here. One's going to be called data. The other one's going to be called stream. Just like that, no capital or nothing like that. The next thing you're going to want to do is right click, new and text document. And now you're going to name this fx, so fx manifest dot lua. Uh, like I say in all my videos, if you're not able to do that, go up to here, go to view, uh, file name extensions and hidden items and you'll be able to rename it to Lua like that. Um, once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is go into the first vehicle and you're going to want to get the data files, all of those. And uh, before you drag them over, actually go into here. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either just drag them straight in like that. Or you can make a new folder and use these square brackets and then put the name of the vehicle so hellcat15 um, and there is two different ways to doing the fx manifest which i will show you in a minute uh, depending on which one of these you do if you just drag them in or create a folder um, so now you're going to want to do the same thing with the other vehicle so ksd or again just drag them both into here you don't need the folder just like that and then you can go back out into there same with this and now you're going to do the exact same with the stream so stream new folder square brackets hellcat15 and you're going to drag these into there uh, exact same thing with the ksd or the other vehicles so you're going to do this with all your vehicles not just two obviously uh, ksd and just drag those in there. Oh, drag those in there like that. And now that's all you actually need for those. So now what you're going to want to do is um, open up the FX Manifest.lua. If you don't have this, this is called Visual Studio Code. It basically just makes code easier to read rather than using Notepad. I will link it down in the description. Another thing that I will link in the description is this right here. So this is the FX manifest for the vehicle pack, well it's going to be. So what you want to do is go into your vehicle pack folder, open up data, and you're going to want to go through both of these. So as we can see, car calls, car variations, handling, and vehicles. So you want to make sure they're here. So car calls we have, uh, car variations we have, vehicles we have, and... Uh, handling we have as well so if there are some in here that aren't in here don't worry because they don't have to be it just means they're not the main uh, data files that you need but you're going to want to go through the other vehicles as well and just check all of them now you don't have to go through and check all of them but the only way, reason i'm saying to do it is because uh what you can do if they're not in there is you can just put two lines uh, two dashes like that to make it into a note so it's green out but actually what you have to do is just do that on all of them so that they're all there these are just the important ones um, as I said the ones that aren't in there they don't matter so just do that with the file just take the green dashes off so it looks like this and here in the description you can put whatever you want I'll just put my vehicle pack all that is is going to be the description in your uh, resource list in your TX admin or when someone joins the server they'll see that okay so now the thing where I was talking about uh, whether or not you put these extra folders in there so if you did put these extra folders in here rather than just dragging all the files in to one place then what you're going to want to do is make sure all of these have two um, two asterisks so you're going to, it's going to want to say data, forward slash, two asterisks, another forward slash, 
and then handling.meta, okay? So what this is doing is it's saying data, so that is your data folder within the vehicle pack. So it's going into here, and then the two asterisks means it's going to go into another folder. So it's going to check both of these folders because we haven't put a specific folder there. The two asterisks just means go in every single folder, and it's going to look for handling.meta. Now, if you didn't put these folders in and you just drag them in, what you're going to want to do is get rid of the second slash and the two asterisk asterisks. So now it's just going to look into data and it's going to get all the handlings or metas. Okay. Um, but because I've done that, I'm just going to keep that like that. And it's the same with all the others. So you just want to make sure they all either have two asterisks or no, or get rid of one of the forward slash and the asterisk asterisks. And that will, um, that will all work fine. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So it's a pretty simple process, to be honest. Um, obviously, it can be time consuming depending on how many vehicles you want to put in the pack. But it's the same exact process with this. It's just dragging them in and making the folders if you're doing that. That's why it could just be a bit quicker if you don't do the folders. But it's a lot cleaner if you do. Um, oh, yeah, same with this up here. Um, so if you didn't put the folders, then just get that, get rid of that as well. And that's just looking for the dot meta files. But if you have the folders and just keep that there. Uh, and one a one asterisk just means that it's that it doesn't matter what's in front of the dot meta. It's going to scan all the dot meta files basically. Uh, so once you're done, go ahead and save that. You can close it, and then just um, start it in your server CFG. Obviously, restart your server, and the vehicle pack should work. You should see instead of having loads of vehicles starting up, it's only one resource, which is the vehicle pack. Uh, sorry, it's been a bit slow today. I am a bit tired at the moment. But other than that, that should be it for now. Thanks for watching. Peace out.